literally feels like nothing is on my face I don't like using the word clean girl but this is definitely a clean girl makeup look hi my loves it's sis welcome back to my channel and today's video we are going to be doing a super quick and easy makeup tutorial and if you are new to my channel hi my name is princess and we are in our back to basics series we're going back to the basics with makeup hair fashion faith everything for the girl who's always on the go this is a quick and easy 10 minute makeup look that you can do this look requires little to no effort a lot of skin tint not too many products it literally is so easy and so simple and you can do this in a quick 15 minute before you're out the door keep watching bye okay so for this look you want to make sure you're starting with a freshly washed and clean face skin prep is so important for days like this when you're going for a light makeup i like to go in with a really good moisturizer i've been loving the tatcha renewal cream my skin has been feeling really dry lately and this moisturizer is like really good because my skin doesn't feel oily when i use it and it's also important to make sure that you're doing a light skincare base so nothing too heavy nothing too oily or greasy I love to go in with an eye cream. This one is from the Inky List. It's super affordable. It's under $10. And honestly, this eye cream is so good. And if you freeze it in the freezer the night before and you put it on in the morning, especially for school or work or something, it's so refreshing. Then I'm going in with my CoverGirl Brow Gel just to shape my brows a little bit, make sure that they look laminated. Now, the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer. Let me tell you 500 reasons why I'm obsessed with this concealer. The coverage is amazing. It's about $20 and i've had it for so long it literally feels like this thing is not running out but you want to go in with a light concealer right under your eye the reason we're starting with concealer first is because that way we can control the amount of product we're using for a clean makeup look you want to make sure that you are using minimal products so that little bit of concealer is going to take us a long way now going in with a foundation for stick. a natural makeup look i find that foundation sticks are best because they're easy to blend they're less messy and they give you a good amount of coverage to where you don't have to use too much product and you don't have to blend for a really long time. I really love these black opal foundation sticks because they're super creamy. They have a really good skin like finish and they have a pretty decent shade range, especially for black women. So I'm putting that on the outer parts of my face because obviously the concealer is on the inner parts of my face. So I'm just focusing on the parts of my face that have a lot of acne scarring. So just making sure that I'm covering that up. That's literally what it's for. So I'm just using it to give myself more of a flawless skin finish and just cover those little spots up before I go in with any more product and just instantly guys look how beautiful this foundation stick is it is about $15 it is a great beginner product and I have this in my kit at all times I love it and then I'm going in with a darker of the same foundation stick now this will act as my contour so you want to suck in your face and place that in the points where your cheekbones are or just where you want your face to be more snatched I like to place my contour right under my cheekbones so that way it just gives a little bit of a shadow makes my face look a little bit more snatched a little bit more you know a little oomph but as i'm placing this i'm also now going in with my concealer brush this is a light to medium dense brush and i'm just lightly gently it doesn't look gentle but i'm patting that in right under my eye now the key to this is to blend out the edges and then go from inward outward so just tapping lightly and making sure that i'm having control of where i'm placing that concealer since this is a natural makeup look i am going to blend until all the harsh lines have disappeared and now once i'm done blending my concealer i always go back in with the same brush that i use for my foundation stick and my contour just to make sure that there's a seamless blend and now i'm topping everything up with the summer friday skin tint this is their sheer skin tint i love the skin tint so much and the reason i decided to add a little bit more skin tint was just because i wanted a little bit of coverage but honestly this is a very optional step at this point but i just love the way the skin tint gives a very skin like finish and it also helps me to blend in the contour and the concealer and make everything just more blended, more seamless. And you want to make sure that you are looking. constantly interchanging your brushes between the brush you use for your contour. Just so that way everything is seamless and blended. Now I'm going in with my Huda Beauty blush in the shade Strawberry Cream, I believe. And I love this blush because it's super lightweight. Liquid blushes are perfect for a no makeup makeup look because they are the easiest to blend. And at some point they honestly disappear. So I'm going in with a light but dense brush. So this is like a brush that's dense enough to where the 
blush is going to melt into my skin but not too dense to where it's like I'm rubbing it off so I place my blushes on my cheekbones my nose and a little bit on my forehead I find that when I'm doing a no makeup makeup look I get to have a little bit more fun with the blush so the placement is up to you but just place it in the spots where you just want to look a little flush I want it to look a little bit sun-kissed or sunburnt but that just didn't go as planned today obviously i look more glam than sunburnt but i absolutely love the shade of blush so i'm just going back in and blending my concealer a little bit more because we're about to go into setting now concealer. powders can really be make or break for your no makeup makeup routine or your clean girl makeup so i love to just go straight in with a pressed powder and skip a setting powder because the pressed powder will help set the concealer in but it won't give it that makeup look it'll give it more of a skin like finish this is my charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder this is in the shade fair and I love this powder because it really does give like this filter finish it looks so beautiful in person and once you set that in you want to go in with a contour just to bring some warmth and color back into your face because that pressed powder does tend to be a little um, ghostly <laughs> but going in with a contour on the parts where you put your cream contour it just kind of brings a little bit of more dimension back into your face because our face is never one dimension so regardless of if you're doing a no makeup makeup look you always want to make sure that you're going in with some type of contour or bronzer just to bring some color back into your face now for brows I really love to go light with my brows especially when I'm so doing what you want to do is just look. go in with a flat brush and just lightly highlight your brow but worry about precision honestly just add a little bit of concealer to that brow bone and keep it pushing for lips I always recommend going for a lighter lip liner than what you normally would if you're doing a glam look so for today I went with the ruby kisses in the shade brown this is a true brown but it does pick up more red which I actually really like because then it keeps my lips a lot more pink and a lot more on the lighter side versus if I was using a darker brown then I just go in with a little bit of a pink lip stain or lip gloss this is actually the YSL candy glaze lipstick and then finally I top it off with just a simple lip oil this is the lip bar this is one of my favorite favorite lip oils ever I love this lip oil so much and the nude shade is perfect it's mostly clear and to set everything in you always want to go in with a setting spray that's going to give you the most skin like finish I will usually opt for the makeup revolution super fix spray it's really great if you're a beginner super inexpensive and most importantly once it sets it gives you like this really beautiful glow and it always just makes all the powders and everything melt together so perfectly which is one of the many reasons I love the setting spray the key to a really natural makeup look is a little bit of glow as much as you might want a matte look that glow really does sell the no makeup makeup look although you know it's makeup we know it's makeup but what I always like to do as a finisher is just go back in with my Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder just in the little spots where I know I'm going to get oily but if you want to opt out for a more natural look then I recommend trying a brown mascara instead and in literally less than 12 minutes, if you do this makeup routine right, you will fall in love with how quick and easy and just super natural this looks. I look absolutely stunning. One thing I love the most about this makeup look is just how all the products blend together really, really well. Starting off with that concealer really is a game changer if you want to perfect your clean girl makeup look. It makes everything 10 times easier. I kid you not. Try this makeup look out and tell me how it goes for you. I do also want to add, I have DIY lash extensions. So so that also makes this look go like 10 times faster obviously if you're gonna put on lashes it might take you a little bit longer which is why I think everyone should invest in some DIY lash clusters that is it for today this is the look it is very lightweight very very beautiful very skin like and natural very clean girl very minimalist <laughs> So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give my channel a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.